welcome back students this is your chendu gao in this video i am going to cover the orthographic projection of planes as you all are aware that what exactly is a orthographic projection and what are the principles and what is first angle projection method and the second angle third and fourth were already uploaded in my channel if you are not uh, uh, clear with the concepts please do work out those concepts in today's video i am going to discuss with you all the projection of planes let me define what a plane is before going to work out a plane you should know the definition of a plane let's talk about what is a plane a plane is nothing but a collection of lines isn't it dear students i have three set of lines i can draw a plane i have a two four sir four set of lines i can draw either a square or a rectangle hence a plane is a two dimensional isn't it dear students if i take into consideration a rectangle a rectangle of something like 50 by 30 or 50 by 20 is nothing but a plane of two dimension hence a plane is a 2d before that we have studied a one dimension what one dimension is 1d is a line a set of points is nothing but a line earlier to the 2d we have studied a projection of lines earlier to projection of lines we have studied a projection of points a point doesn't have any dimension so it is a 0d so projection of i mean collection of points is a line and collection of lines is a plane this is the passion of engineering graphics from 1d to 2d conversion and 2d to 1d conversion can be made if a problem is given in 2d so a plane is nothing but collection of lines we have different types of planes you have studied in your school days like if it has three sides it is nothing but a triangle and if it is has four sides of two same parallel sides this is called as a rectangle and when all the sides are equal it is nothing but a square and if it has five sides or the five edges or regular polygon it is a pentagon and the regular polygon which has six sides is nothing but a hexagon how to draw a pentagon and a hexagon and division of a circle were also uploaded in my channel if you are not clear with that please go through it let's look at the terminologies of the given plane let this is nothing but the surface of the plane or it is also called as lamina or it is also called as sheet or a plate what are the terms dear students a rectangular plate or rectangular plane or rectangular surface as well as rectangular sheet where it has negligible thickness let these be the edges or the sides of the rectangular plane what are these these are the edges or the sides of the rectangular plane and these are the corners or the vertices of a given plane these are the corners or vertices of a rectangular plane let me take into consideration one more plane this is nothing but hexagon this is nothing but the surface of a plane or lamina or sheet or a plate and these are the edges or the sides as it is a hexagon it has six sides and six edges and these are nothing but the corners of the hexagonal plane dear students please be perfect with this all terminology why because the orientations or the positions the problems which you are going to work out will be based on surface based on edges or sides or based on corners or the vertices this is all about the introduction about the planes in the next video we will see what are the different orientations of the planes with respective principal planes thank you